Hi friends, in my last video I presented to you three awesome blue chip stocks and I got many messages after that video asking me Rahul you recommended Bajaj Finance as a quality stock and the price of one share of Bajaj Finance right now is more than 7000 rupees. We can't even afford to buy that stock even one single stock because many retail investors have 2000 rupees, 3000 rupees, 4000 rupees every month to, to invest in stocks. Therefore I am creating this video where I am going to show you how to select quality stocks within less than 500 rupees and this 500 rupees could be any amount depending on how much you can invest. For me the methodology of getting these stocks under 500 rupees is more important than the list of stocks. Therefore a humble request please watch this video without skipping so that you understand how to find quality stocks within a given price. With that let's get this video started. As you can see on my screen there are more than 4500 stocks listed on national stock exchange. What we need to do is find out the quality stocks which are trading right now below 500 rupees. So the first thing we need to do is only select top 500 stocks that have made it to nifty 500 because I do not want to invest my hard earned money into stocks that have not even made to nifty 500. So for that what we are going to do is going to stock universe and only select nifty 500. So that gives us total 500 stocks that are there as part of the nifty 500. The second thing we need to do is only find out those stocks which are trading at a price which is le less than 500 rupees. So we are going to look at the close price and I'm going to say give me only those stocks that are trading at 500 rupees or less. With that we get 207 stocks and you can already see some of these stocks that you might be already aware of. Now the first thing we need to do is find out out of these 207 stocks which are fundamentally strong stocks because there is no point in investing your money into any stocks that is fundamentally not strong. For that we are going to use five ratios. Let me just walk you through one by one. The first parameter that I want to use is company's net profit margin in the last five years. Very very important parameter. Let us go ahead and put that here. So we are going to go ahead and put net profit margin and we are interested in the last five years average net profit margin that the company has generated. Let us go ahead and add that. Also let us go ahead and look at the last recent financial year and how much of net profit margin the companies have created. So let us go ahead and add that in here and I would consider only those companies which have given me in the last five years net profit margin at least 10%. 10% and more will tell me that the company has consistently given solid net profit margins. So let us go ahead and put that here. So that will give us 64 companies that have in the last five years given more than 10% net profit margin. Also I want to look at the last financial year's performance as well just to make sure that nothing wrong is going on with the company in the last few quarters. So what I'm going to do is again I will be happy if the company has generated more than 10% net profit margin in the last financial year that gives me 53 stocks. Now let us also look at how efficiently the company is using the assets, the capitals and the investments and creating profits. So for that we are going to use the first criteria is ROI. So I am interested to look at how much of return on investment the company is creating in the last five years. Very very important. Simply meaning that for one rupee of the cost of investment how much of profit that the company is generating that is what I am interested in. So right now I am going to select five years average return on investment and I'll be happy to select those companies that have given me at least 10% of ROI in the last five years that gives us 27 companies. In addition to ROI I also want to look at return on equity again very very important. Let us go ahead and add return on equity and also understand what does actually return on equity means. Return on equity simply means that for one rupees of the shareholders equity how much of net income the company is generating because net income alone doesn't really tell us more about it. It just tells us the company is profitable it is making money but it doesn't tell us for one rupee of the shareholder equity how much of net income it is generating. Let us go ahead and add that here. So we are going to select five year average return on equity here and let us go ahead and select only those companies that have given at least 15% return on equity in the last five years. So I'm going to select 15 and we are going to get 22 companies here. Also very important parameter that we need to consider is return on capital employed. Return on equity and return on capital employed are slightly different and we want to consider both of them. 
please go ahead and read about these ratios on google it is very very important for us to understand that when we analyze companies right let us go ahead and select return on capital employed so we are going to select return on capital employed roc roc is simply how much of operating margin or operating profit the company is generating for one rupees of total capital employed total capital here will include total debt as well as total equity so let us go ahead and add that here and i'll be happy for those companies to come into our criteria which has given me at least 15 percent roc in the last five years with that we get to 22 companies if you're liking this video so far please press the like button and follow me for upcoming videos all these 22 companies are fundamentally strong in the last five years have given right net profit margin results as well as have used the capital efficiently to give us the right returns that we need to look for the next thing we want to consider before buying the shares of any companies how much of earning per share the company is able to generate very very important parameter so let us go ahead and put earning per share here so let us go and say earning per share earning per share is how much of net income the company is generating divided by the total outstanding shares of the company let us go ahead and add that here i'll be more than happy if a company is creating at least 10 percent of earning per share every year so let us go ahead and put that filter here so we are going to select only those companies that are giving us more than 10 percent of earning per share that gives us total 16 companies that are fundamentally good and also have been giving good earning per share in the last few years now the question comes how much of returns the company is giving on the stock prices let us go ahead and check that out as well so we are going to select CAGR so let us go ahead and have a look at the last five years compounded annual growth rate of the stock price over the last five years so let us go ahead and select that here and again i'll be happy if a company has been giving me at least 10 percent CAGR in the last few years now these eight companies that you see on my screen are trading at a 500 rupees less than price also they are fundamentally strong also their eps is really good but what i really want to make sure is that they are less volatile because i do not want to invest in companies or stocks that are very volatile in nature because i'm not comfortable with that much of volatility so for that what we are going to do is use a parameter called beta so let us go ahead and add that here so we are going to go ahead and add beta here let me explain you beta very simply if the stock market falls by 1% and if the beta of the company is 0.5%, it means the company's stock price will fall by 0.5%. If the beta is 5, that means that company will fall down by 5%. So less the beta, better it is. I'm only going to consider those companies that have got beta at least less than 1.5. So let us go ahead and put that filter here. So 1.5 that gives us total seven companies and these companies are fundamentally strong trading at less price than 500 rupees and also their eps is good they have given a good cagr in the last five years also they are stable companies they are not very volatile in nature i also want to look at the liquidity in the market that how many of shares are being traded in these companies because if the liquidity is high then whenever i am ready to sell these stocks i'm not going to get a discounted price i'm going to get a fair price of my stocks for that what we are going to do is going to add another filter called as three month average volume so this is the daily volume of stocks taken in the last three months let us go ahead and ha have a look at that what we see here simply is that it is showing us enough liquidity there are number of shares being traded on a daily basis is huge for all seven companies so we are okay with that now the big question should we go ahead and invest our money in these seven companies i think before we do that let us also understand valuation and the timing of investment extremely important factors that we are going to consider now so for valuation what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply select PE minus sector PE. What is the PE ratio right now for these companies? Visa is their sector PE and let us check whether it is undervalued or overvalued. So let us go ahead and add that. If we do PE minus sector PE, all of these companies are undervalued right now because the value is coming in negative. So from a valuation perspective, I don't think we are going to invest our money into overvalued companies these are all undervalued companies right now but more importantly let us now understand whether we should invest right now in these companies or should we wait for that what i'm going to do is introduce to you very important parameter which is called percentage away from 52 week high and 52 week low let us go ahead and add these two and i'll explain to you in a minute so first parameter which is percentage away from 52 week high simply means in the last 52 weeks which is in the last one year the stock price would have got to a highest point how far it is from that highest point because that tells us that how much of correction has happened in this stock 
and what is the potential upside if it reaches back to that highest point, right? That is what we are interested in. So let us go ahead and add that filter here. We have added that. Now, let us understand any companies out of these seven stocks, any stocks that are already at the highest trading level. So if I go ahead and put zero to 10%, meaning these two stocks, for example, ITC and Triveni, they are literally 2% away from their last 52 weeks high value, right? So right now they're trading at an all time high value. No doubt, both the stocks are quality stocks. What I would suggest here is not to invest in these right now. Wait for the stock to get corrected in the next few weeks. Buy them whenever there is a dip because right now they are trading at an all time high from a last 52 weeks perspective. There is not going to be much upside potentially in the next few months. I may be totally wrong here, but this is the theory that I'm going to use here. Let us now go ahead and look at the other side of the spectrum, which is to reset this filter. And let us say that we are going to look at those companies which are far, far away from touching their higher, right? So let us go ahead and put 10% here. You'll see these five companies are far away from their last 52 weeks high. Meaning, for example, here JK paper is 37% far away from its highest point in the last 52 weeks. Meaning there is a potential here that it can go back to its highest level in the next few weeks or months. And we can get 37% appreciation in our stock price. And that might be a good time to exit that stock. Other parameters being constant. If you're liking this video so far, please press the like button and follow me for upcoming videos. This now presents you five solid companies that are trading at a price lower than 500 rupees at the time of recording this video. They are fundamentally strong companies. Their CAGR or the stock returns in the last five years has been more than 10%. Their beta is very less, meaning they are less volatile in nature. They are not touching their highest price in the last 52 weeks. In fact, they are trading at a very low price right now. Now, humble request is please do not blindly invest in any of these five companies. Please make sure you read about their management structure, their strength of the companies. For example, Granules India Limited is a pharmaceutical company. And do you know that it holds 30% of the paracetamol manufacturing global market share? Likewise, look at JK Paper Limited. Understand what is happening in the paper sector. And predominantly, the reason is that the packaging board demand was not up to the mark. And in fact, we suffered on the packaging board to some extent because our our utilization of capacity was something around 90-95%. Right now, if you look at the quarter four, the demand for paper and packaging has been reducing. The pulp prices, that is the input to this paper manufacturing, has been going down, which is better for the sector. Please go ahead and look at the sector analysis, look at the company analysis, read their financial books to make sure you're very comfortable because I cannot advise you to go ahead and blindly invest in these stocks. The stocks of these companies needs to be understand, analyzed by yourself. Then only you should invest your hard earned money into these companies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the like button, follow me for upcoming videos. I will see you in my next video. Keep rocking.